enemies, but remember their names. Remember their names. Remember their names. Yeah, I'm ready to do this, man. I'm going to start that in the table with 18 years old. Do we call on and I'm chilling with the homie JT, AKA OG, Chico 247. This call just came back for life, though, and the boss will pray. Me, spread out the limits to the city, trip, rip, and then come my car, and he ain't killing hands, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure that they're the homie, look, take me on 247. You're probably ready to go, but you all some of that stuff, nigga. You know what I'm saying? No skin and jeans, no skin and jeans. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this your girl Sheena Thrash representing that translucent media. My choice should be your choice. And my choice is 24-7 hip hop. Nothing but love for my nigga Tech T. Let go. Let the boys and girls. Yuck mouth and the brain shame straight out of each dope with your dig. And I'm gonna be chilling with tech on 24 hour hip hop radio. And always no skinny jeans, bitch. You dig? Da 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 What it do, what it do, it's your big homie Fiend. You're now tuned in with the OG Tech 24 7 hip hop radio. The Southern Yeah. What's good? It's your boy Young Point, representing that Snap Mo Clip. Tiny X Mission. You're now tuned in to 24 7 hip hop with OG Tech, aka Tech T. Let's ride. It's one team, one mission. Yo, what's happening? This your boy Lil Peep, 140 GB. Down face records. I'm chilling with tech on a 24 7 hip hop in the southern mix. Yeah. Hey, yo, what's up with it? This your boy, Young Bleed of Baton Rouge, and Trap Dog in the title. Chilling with the homies in tech, aka Tech Teasy on 24 7 hip hop radio. And as always, no skinny jeans, you heard me? Yeah. What a world, what a world, what a world, man. You know who it is. You know what time it is, man. It's your boy, OG Tech, a.k.a. the house on the street. The house on name, the streets love to hate, man. We are back. 24-7 hip-hop radio. One team, one mission, man. And y'all know with that statement, man, we're about unity. We're about spreading love. And we about unifying this, the, the independent artists that's in the game. I got a lot of great artists that's going to be coming through today, man. And I got three gentlemen that I wanted to bring here to have... um speak to you guys about marketing, promoting, and networking. I know a lot of time us as artists, we get out here and we think that, you know, we just go up here and we share our music. That's the only way. But there's a lot of things that we need to be doing in the background also in order to get our music into different places so everybody can hear our music. I'm talking like Spotify. I'm talking like Pandora. I'm talking like Tidal. I'm talking about sending emails. I'm talking about your bios. I'm talking about all that good stuff all comes together to solidify yourself as one great artist. And that's something that a lot of us lack the knowledge of. So I brought some guys that I wanted to come through that y'all can hear from that have businesses, that run businesses, that have artists that I think that will be good for y'all to take a listen to. We got Mac Tight coming through. Uh, he is CEO of Mac Tight Radio. We got Dale coming through. He is CEO of Bosses Making Bosses. And we got Southern coming through. He is the CEO of Southern Rap Tunes Media. He is a vice president of a label and a CEO of a label. I mean, all three of these guys bring a lot of things to the table that I think that will benefit y'all. So if y'all are on here and y'all listening now, please make sure that y'all share the link. Y'all go and grab an artist. If you know an artist, R&B, that, got, or, or that does R&B, that got a brand of, of clothing or anything, make sure they tap, tap in with us. We about to get it in, man. Let me go ahead and bring these gentlemen on. So we got Mac Tight, we got Southern and Dale. Go ahead and introduce yourself, gentlemen. We'll start with you, Mac Tight. Yeah, what's going on, man? It's your boy Mac Joker, Mac Tight Brand, Mac CEO of Mac Tight Radio, also CEO of Mac Tight Entertainment. Here to drop some game on you, so let's get it. All right, man. Go ahead, Southern. What's happening, the Southerns of Southern Rap Tunes? Uh, and Richard and Famous got the clothing line. 
Got two artists, Tesco Marley and Ricky Dope, man. Just happy to be here. Shout out to everybody in the room. Let's get it, man. All right. And Dale, go ahead, man. Hey, man. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm Dale ATL, man, from Atlanta, Georgia, man. I'm a uh, co-founder of Boston Making Boston Clothing Line. An artist, we manage artists, got a, a consulting firm, man. We doing it. We doing it big. So tap in with me. Let's go. Hey, and I'm, I'm fortunate to know these guys and get game from these guys. Um, and, and they all bring different things to the table. So like I said, if you ain't done it already, make sure y'all are sharing the link. Make sure y'all grab an artist or somebody that got a brand that may have a question that they can come here, man, and ask and possibly get your question answered. So, man, right out the rip, I'm going to ask, and, you know, this could be anybody that, that want to answer. What are some of the mistakes that you think that an artist makes when he first starts or she starts in the game? Uh, let me touch on it. Um, being arrogant, uh, arrogant, uh, it, it really gets you nowhere. Uh, being humble gets you everything. So uh, okay. you got to know how to approach people uh, when it comes to wanting to get your music listened to. Say, for instance, like a DJ. If you want to get a DJ to listen to your music, go meet the DJ. Go buy him something to drink. Go get him something, whatever. Go get this politic with him. It's not, not right. all about the music at first. It's all about the relationship. And okay. after that, you can pro probably put the music on them and then shoot them some money then. And then that's the way you network as far as getting your record spent in a club. But you need to the, treat the DJs like family, like friends, because they're going to be part of your whole career. So you really, they're vital. They're vital. So your first impression is everything. So... A lot of artists be arrogant sometimes because they just don't know how to network it and get through. And everybody, you know, my music jamming, my music jamming. Right. But it's not really all about that. It's all about you as a person. Right. Yeah, I could definitely of, feel that. A lot of people yeah. don't understand that. So just make sure you're, you can, you know how to approach people and then be able to take, you know, because criticism and be coachable. Right. Back, back. Can I? I just want to chime in real quick, man. Uh, right. A, a mistake I hear a, a lot of artists, uh, especially when they just getting out, is they they so quick to want to drop an album. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get you at least two, three songs. You know what I'm saying? That you're ready to push, build a buzz, then go ahead and drop maybe a mixtape. You know what I'm saying? Then an album so quick. I, I find that artists so quick to just after they put out a song, maybe about three three months later, saying working on my album, about to drop the album. You know what I'm saying? Right. No, no kind of no kind of uh, uh, money into the marketing. No, no kind of push on. You know, like you know what I'm saying? It's it's just little things that you you should do before you go ahead and, and drop that album, especially if you're independent. Right. Now, now you just touched on something, man. You said marketing. Now I know a lot of artists don't understand that part. They think more as Hey, I put it on Distro Kid, and they did what I needed them to do. You know, they they put it on Apple, they got it on Spotify everywhere. I ain't really got to do too much work. You that, know, that, that that's the number one mistake right there. Right, right. They, you, you said it just then. They they think that just because they drop a project, it's mm -hmm. just gonna do what it do. They don't understand the behind the scenes, and the behind the scenes is the marketing, the promotion, the push. You know right. what I'm saying? You got it. I mean, it, it sometimes it take two three years for 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 a song to you know what i'm saying to catch especially on the mm -hmm. underground scene you gotta push and grind and hit those clubs like southern said you know step to the djs respectfully you know what i'm saying right. it's, it's, it's ways to go about it but you gotta push and put money into it you can't right. just get the, you know what i'm saying a, a lot of times they, they think that in this game i'm just gonna get straight to it in this game you gotta be able to put something into your product into into your your single that you're trying to mm -hmm. put whether it be marketing, you know what I'm saying, whatever, you, it, it ain't no way around it. It ain't no way around it. So, Dale, what you think about these artists, man? Do you, can you touch on the topic of of investing in your yourself? Because uh, that's one thing that a lot of artists don't understand is about investing in yourself as far as your career. You know, um, 
I know that we got to get the covers done and we got to get the the promos, but it's other things that go along with it. You know, what you what 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 can you touch on as far as investing in yourself as an artist? Man, honestly, bro, I I tell every artist that I run across, every artist that I manage, I mean, any artist, any inspiring artist, if you don't have a budget, you really, I mean, you're going to be left behind because everything right now, the, the days of uh, seeing rappers on the corner freestyle and somebody walking up to you like, hey, man, I think you got it, man. I think you can, I think you can do it, man. Come on, let me, let me come sign you to this record label. Them days are over for with. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's so important to market and so important to have a budget and know where to put your money how to spend your money how important it is to to use smart money you know what i'm saying because like like southern like you know both of, both of my guys just touched on man you think just because you put a you put a song or ep on spotify you think you just supposed to get a, a, a hundred million streams without marketing Man, I, I I promote it so much just in any business, in any business you in. You think about it. Just think about this. Household names, Coca-Cola, Pepsi. I mean, you can think of, you can go on on Google. You know, all these big brands, right? They spend billions of dollars on marketing every year, right? They don't have to. Just think about it. They spend billions of dollars, and we, we already know what McDonald's tastes like. Make, right. We don't ever have to see a commercial ever again to know that it's a McDonald's <laughs> up here on the corner. Right? right. But them companies still spend billions and billions and billions of dollars on marketing because they know this is what we need to do to get ahead of our competition. So that's just in any especially independent artists, when you're trying to get out here and you're trying to uh you're trying to get a buzz. Man, you gotta have a budget behind you, man. That's number one. That's number one. If you don't have an investor behind, you, man, work a job for a year and stack it up. Stack right. 20, 30 grand up and then put it in the right places. So it's very important, man. Very important. Thanks. And, and real quick, just calling it what it is, is very competitive. You know what I'm saying? You this is a competitive market. So you you're gonna have to push and like Dale said, invest put into into your product it's, it's just it's a competitive it's, it is what it is it's a competitive market right right so southern man i know you 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 vp and ceo of two labels you know um so i'm an artist i come up to you i drop my flow you like it what what direction are you going to take me as far as the guidance of the first things that I need to do as an artist, because a lot of these artists don't even know the first steps. They don't even know about the bios. You know, they like you said, they just think my name is OG Tech. I'm an artist. There's nothing else that I got on. You know what I'm saying behind me. So, what are some things that you 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 would like tell an artist that's just stepping in the game? The first things that he needs to do before he even gets started to get to the microphone. Start a business on itself. Start an LLC. Okay. That's a that's okay. the first thing I make all artists do that want to work with me. Uh, start okay. Start a business on itself because I mean you are you the product. But what I mean what do you, what are we doing if you're not gonna take this seriously? Like that, that's the first step. I know you're serious. You know what I mean? So right. If I can get you to that step right there. I already know you're serious. You started a business on itself. Then I I explain to them about streams product servicing music uh we have people that we service music with uh that's coming more popular like an atl top 20. Mm -hmm. uh ugly ugly money nietzsche he's on the rise with serving mu uh, servicing music uh coalition dj some everybody that serves music you need to link with those people who service music and pay for those services because those services can get you to the radio those services can get you streams and see when you get to the radio and you get those streams that's your income and then it becomes residual income once people get to listen to your music on the daily you know what right. i mean and those djs can do it for you but though that that's the most important thing though uh get to get your music out there servicing your music with the djs that's okay. whatever you need to pay to service your music. That's what you need to do. That's how I hear all music. I hear all music by servicing. Like I, I just checked my email. ATL Top Twenty sent me all the hot music. 
I mean, right. I've been up, I've been up on him for probably thirteen years or something. So this, that's what's up. And now he's like the world star of Atlanta. You know what I mean? If you look, oh yeah, man. Invested in yourself. Y'all see the whole thing keep coming back around to the same thing. Invested in yourself and know your budget. You know what I'm saying? Mag tight. Yeah, man, yeah. I got a I, I got a hot single, man. Right. About to bring it to you, man. I need I need them spins. I need right. them spins. Right. What you gonna tell me, man, when I get to you? You know what 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 does an artist need to do before he approaches the DJ? I, I, I'm gonna tell you like this. It, it, Number one, I'm gonna take the number one question that's gonna come out of my mouth. What's your budget? Yo, what's your budget? Back to the <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm the budget the again. You see what I'm saying? I'm real, man. Right. I, I, I get that every day. As a matter of fact, I, I get uh, somebody in my DM now. How do I get? What's your budget? What's your right. budget? You know, because I, I mean, just it, I mean, not only in this game, but in life. You know what I'm saying? It's like, especially in this game, don't nothing come from it, man. Don't, I mean, it's good. Relationships are good too, but man, ain't nothing coming for free, man. I'm just keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, that's just just telling what it is. Right. So about streams, let's let's talk about streams. Um, yes. And, and and playlists and and artists getting you know selected for these um these these proper playlists that get these artists these streams. Um, do y'all think that is like beneficial? These playlists that people create. Um, to generate the streams for these artists, or because uh, I know there are services that they have out here that yes. if you spend this money, you can get on this playlist, and you know you, you, your your song might go viral or whatever. You know, do you think that's a good option for some of these artists? Um, I think so. I mean, I I, I, just, I think so. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. It depends. Uh, if you're if you're paying for it, um. I, I just need to know the logistics of it. You know what I'm saying? If it's, it's, it's worth, because, you know, if you invest something, you're looking to make at least double, right? Right, right. So, you know, you got to just make sure it's worth an investment. I would rather uh, invest into, uh, I forgot exactly what I was supposed to say. Ah. <laughs> it, it skipped my mind. Uh, it, it'll come back to me. But, yeah, right. uh, I'd say exactly what it was. What you about to say, Dale? I was saying, I think, it, I think it. See, see, I think, I think what artists artists fail to realize, and it, and I preach this a lot. You know what I mean? You got to put the money last, right? Because once you get your ground on, once you really just get out here, you doing it because you love it. This way, anything. You know, I, I, when I talk, I come from a platform of 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 all genres of business. You know what I'm saying? Right. So this ain't just about music, but. When you put your passion and your love into something, you know, it goes a long way. And the money always gonna be there. Like money, you, you think about how, how how much we we mu how much we give and get money. You know, the money always gonna be there. So I think I think as an artist, you wanna spread yourself so wide and and, and market it in so many different places that you ain't even concerned with the money right now. Right. You right. you want to get on you want to get on this platform, you want to get on that platform, that platform. Look, true fact, true fact. 71 artists last year 2020 got deals off of TikTok. Just off of TikTok. Just going viral on TikTok. One one song can change your life literally. You know, one on TikTok. One, on TikTok. one movement can change your life. So you got to understand it's so many ways in the game right now. And there's so many different platforms and different avenues and this and that. It's just about figuring it out. And, and, and a hundred percent, you know, with any business is about the team that you got, the people that you got around you, you know what I'm saying? The, you know, the people that you, the people that's going to put you in the game and give you this game and give you this platform and say, damn, I got this idea. Let's go over here and do this. Let's put this a thousand dollars over here. And you know what I mean? So, you surround yourself with the people that's gonna benefit you and it points you in the right direction. But you definitely, I mean, I, like I said, the streaming, the streaming and getting on playlists is definitely a part of the game. It's not, it's not detriment that this is what you gotta do or you ain't go, you ain't go succeed. But it's right. something that's just gonna, you know, it's just gonna branch your brand into a whole different market. You know, it's gonna branch your name and your songs into a whole different market. So 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, you gotta you gotta capitalize on every opportunity. So yeah, the screens are definitely right. important. So do y'all think like physical CDs is all the way over? Because I know that's something that I'm used to in, in my day. You know, we used to have to print them things up, put them right. in the trunk, and we used to go we used to go city to city with them. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Nowadays, you can right. just send some links out to some people and be like, hey, right. click, link, kick, uh, click this link. I, Yo. I, I would still do the CDs, but I would also have thumb drives. Like, you could do personalized thumb drives. They have, like, little wrist thumb drives, like you snap it around your wrist. Mm -hmm. Then you can snap it off and put it in the car like that. Man, you might as well roll with that because it's more creative and as people got the little US things in their car, they can hook it up to their TV. And yeah. Ain't nobody really got a CD player, but I mean, CDs still go. Trust me. I feel like right, right. I they do. CDs a lot. Hey, so my CDs my, my ad must my ad must be old because I ain't even know about the damn USB. Now that's something right there. I need to I need to jot that down right there, man. Hold on, let me grab that notebook. Right. <laughs> you can get them personalized with your album or your music or whatever on there and everything. That's like, bro. They know. got they got they got the little wristbands. They got the wristbands now. You can put it up to a camera and every link, every I mean everything you got going on right now a pop up. Yeah, you know with I mean? the scan too. With yeah, the, with, yeah the scan. with the scan. Bro, they got the digital cards out. Yeah. I, I personally oh, think man. it's over with for the CDs. I, I personally think it is, but I don't. Know, I don't feel. I don't feel behind, I think it man. Depends where you're at. Where, yeah, where that, you're yeah, at. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, in like Columbia, I said, Georgia, uh, they will they will happily take a CD from you. And a lot of like Nick gonna be like, man, I ain't got no damn CD player. Right, <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> or, you right. know, especially especially I when I definitely wouldn't try to bring it a CD to the club. You know, what I'm saying to the DJ. Oh, you know, what I'm saying nah, have it on the thumb drive. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, gonna get ran up out of there. Yeah, Damn, they, they making sell, they, <laughs> they making cars. They you, you I mean, you buy you buying a what from probably from what 2017 and up. They don't even have CD players. They don't have CD right players. Now. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm shit, there, man. It's like the evolution. It's evolution. Remember, it was eight tracks. It was eight right. tracks. Then nobody hey. people didn't want to let go of that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they, you had the cassette tape. Right. Cassette right. Tape. People didn't want to let go of it and eventually drive. And it's the same thing with these CD. Everything digital now. So with the thumb drive, man, now I'm 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 curious about that. Um so is it is it, just like you you just put your music on it and, and it it just go, or is it some software that you gotta put on it or or the, to slow, get it to you just load, load, it, load it up. Like a regular USB. Yeah. They, yeah. they have, load it up. They have all different kinds. They got like a cup. They got one that look like a CD. Then on the side of the CD thing, it flip out. You know what okay. I mean? As as a thumb drive. So you can, you know okay. what I'm saying? But it's also okay. give you a cover. Then they got the ones that like the wristband. Then they just got the regular straight ones where you can put your name, you know, personalize your brand on them. And it just, oh, it's man. much easier, man. That's how I, that's uh, how I get my music out when I'm out at the event. I, I put about 10 of them in my pocket. Like I go to an ATL top 20 dinner or something like that. Right. I put about 20 of them in my pocket. Then I probably greet everybody with some free merch. Then I slide in the thumb drive like that. You know what I mean? So what the thumb drive usually go for? Like, is, is there like a certain, uh, it just depend on what's all on it, like a CD or, or what? What you mean? I, we don't like when they, when you sell it. When you selling it, is it's like a free giveaway, like a marketing tool, or is it yeah, more like a, hey? It's a giveaway to the DJs and the uh, promoters and everybody just in the entertainment because what this thumb drive is gonna have on there, it's gonna have his latest pictures, like okay. professional pictures. It's gonna have all his information. It's gonna have his videos on there. It's gonna have all his music. And everything's okay. gonna be what they call an EPK. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, so that's yeah, what's I make sure all my artist information is on there. That way, whatever DJ I gave this to is self-explanatory. Now that's what's up. Y'all heard that? A walking yeah. EPK. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I was about to go and press up some CDs. Ain't no need of doing that now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, I sure was looking on site today, man. About to go press up about 500 of them things yeah. real quick. Yeah, you can, you know, I you mean, can also, you can also paste links in there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you can put your sure, links it, in it, there. Yeah. Boom. If the, C, if, if the CDs, 
if you in an area where the CDs working for you, shit, <laughs> do your thing, bro. I just, I just know it's a lot of people that like physical copies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, yeah. autograph yeah. copies. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. You know, small right. town, it's gonna work. Okay, mm -hmm. but don't come to Atlanta with that shit. Hey, I can't pull up the classic Atlanta with the with, nah, with the that, CD. That fact, nah. 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 you know that you know that you know that look. You know that look. A nigga be like. Yeah. I just heard the CD skip. I ain't heard that in years. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Hey, all right. Let me. Let me. It, I was thinking about it the other day how we used to carry them big ass books of the CD. I probably had no uh, every No Limit CD in, in a book every month. Me too. Came out. Me too, man. Everybody <laughs> flipping like this. <laughs> And then the, co yeah. the covers were so colorful too, just flipping it. Right. Just flipping it. For oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's what's up, be, man. They get to be stayed in the. Oh, yeah. Man. yeah. Hey right, man, I'm glad I brought y'all on, boy, because I showed about the day gonna bring them down for the for the second through the fold, boy. I about to come with a box in them up, boy. God damn. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Don't, don't drive in, in, in a scan. Yeah. Okay. All right, I just learned, man. Y'all, y'all, hey, they just gave y'all a free game right there, man. Y'all better pay attention, cause I'm behind, boy. And you you can put the scan on merch as well. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I definitely got the digital. I got a digital, digital card on my phone. It's called uh, a thousand, uh, ten thousand cards. The number. One. Yeah, yeah. They were talking about that in the room. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ten yeah. K cards. Yeah. Ten K cards. Yeah. Yeah. It's ten K okay. cards, man. You get on there. I got it on my. I got it as an app on the, on my phone, my home screen. Somebody say, man, you got a card. Boom. I I put it up. You can scan it. You can hit the website. You can hit the uh, Instagram. My phone number. Everything on there. Right on there. You know what I mean? So everything digital, man. That's what I'm saying. That's the part of the game. I'm talking about like people putting you up on this stuff because you ignorant right. to it if you don't. You ain't getting put up on it. Right. You know I mean? Right. And me as a manager. You know, me as a manager for my artists. That's my job. To, you know, to, to bring opportunities and bring easier ways for them to market themselves and. You know, right. and, and get their brand out there. So you know, that's my job to learn this new stuff, man. So right, you got to stay yeah, up on it, man. And one thing too, you can make merch uh, account as album sales. A lot of artists don't know that. Mm. Go ahead, go ahead and break it down to them. And a lot of things we don't do. We always say stuff, but like we were saying earlier, we don't tell the how. We need to start telling the how. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Get your stuff registered, man. You can go to your, with your BMI, your ass count, and put your put your store in, and I, you know your your web store. If you got a web store, put your web store in. That way, um, your shirt twenty five dollars. That was that's twenty five single sales or twenty five single downloads. You see what I'm mm. saying? Mm. People don't look at it like that. That that goes into your music. I didn't know that. That's yeah. game, man. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm putting that in the phone right now, sir. Yeah, he put you up on game, right? That's game, right there. Hey, that's game, bro. That's that's unique. I I had no idea of that. Then you know, a lot of a lot of artists don't register their performances. They go they go get paid mm. or they go paid to go perform somewhere, and they don't register their performances. They have to register those performances so they can get paid. With their distributor, uh, or whether it's the BMI or the ASCAP or whatever, but a lot of the artists need to start registering their performance because they didn't did all these performances. Like you can go back on performances, and you're gonna be able to prove them. You got flyers and probably video and some of everything. So right, it's, it, the stuff is easy to prove. So uh, a lot of artists can go back on old music and all the times you perform here, this there, all that stuff like that. Even when like DJs play your club, a certain DJs be registered. You need to know right. all these things. You know what I'm saying? Right. And those those are incomes where you can get paid from your distributor from. A lot of people don't know that. All right, I appreciate that. I oh, definitely good. appreciate that, game. So mixtapes. Let's talk about mixtapes. Um, I know a lot of artists want to put out albums and singles. 
Do y'all think mixtapes is the is the way also to get exposure? You know, I know Southern, you put them out. DJ Tokars, you know, y'all y'all put these CDs out. And I know y'all get a whole bunch of views and streams. Is that a, is that a great way to break an artist? Uh, uh, yeah, that's absolutely a great way to break an artist because when you drop mixtapes, you become a curator. So therefore, people are on your way. They want to see what you got, what what type of music you you listening to, or what you think the wave is, and they're gonna eventually pick something or a few things off that mixtape that they're gonna buy with the same way that you do. You know what I'm saying? Just like with uh, DJ Tokar, uh, some of the artists I never heard of, but I right. get to listening to their music like AP Dollar, Chip Almighty, shit, mm -hmm. the, the, the music solid. You know what right. I'm saying? And I see why Tokar is rock with them. Just like Tokar mm -hmm. say, if I respect him, shit, you need to respect him, man. And I feel that because he wouldn't have did that. Like, if it wasn't no good music, like, he, he don't really care about the money like that. And you got to right. have some good music fucking around with Tokar. Uh -huh. Damn right about that. So, yeah, mixtapes are very vital. Um, just go to my mixtape and see what's going on. Go to Spin Real and see what's going on. Uh, they're going like Spin River going live every Friday looking for artists and stuff because they see my my mixtapes booming, so they trying to okay. get back to be that way. You know what I'm saying? So they go live every Friday. They be talking to like 20 people on their live, just want to see what's going on in the streets because they feel like you know they need to be more in touch with the streets. You know what I'm saying? Because my mixtapes got it a lot right now. Right. And, and I'll say something real, real quick too on, on the mixtape scene too, man. It, it's uh, I think that's definitely a good way to bring exposure to artists because, if, you know, you, you may have a mixtape, you may know this artist, and you may get the mixtape because of this particular artist. But while listening to it, you don't heard about two or three artists that you ain't even know nothing about, but you were just, right. you know, what I'm saying it's just another way to bring exposure. You know what I'm saying? So definitely, definitely mixtapes. I definitely say it's a, it's a great way to, uh, you know, get your name out there and, and, and get get thumping in these streets. Right. Yeah, right. Man, you can jump on other folks' beat and you ain't got to worry about clearing those samples or none of that. You right. know what I'm saying? You can just go ahead and go. I and tell I my artist that. My artist just dropped one over Lil Baby song on uh, ESTG. I'm mm -hmm. able to just go ahead and put that out. You know what I'm saying? He, won't, yeah. he, might, he might want to shoot a video for it, but that's that mixtape content. It's like, you have like I call my artist Texco Marley, but he he got a I call him mixtape Marley too because it's a mixtape side to him. He got more control or more what he he can do more on a mixtape than he can actually on an album because the restrictions on the album are everything need to be original music mm -hmm. and things of that nature. You know samples need to be cleared or clear. You might right. not pay for this because this sample went there, but with a mixtape. You could just let, Man, I none of that. You know let it go. Think about all the mixtapes Lil Wayne dropped. Them mixtapes Lil Wayne dropped back to back to back to back with all on all them. I tell my artists all the time. I'm like, bro, I will. Yeah, still tell my to the day. Tip, yeah. think about tip. I, I still, I got on my playlist, on my Spotify playlist, tip got a, a song, Jacking for Beats, man. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about yeah, 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 yeah. That nigga go in, he killed that shit, man. Yeah. And I tell my that, artists that the all the time, time. We seen it. yeah, right. for real. But yeah. I seen, I told bro, I told my art, I got an artist named Young Bullet, man. You know, uh, white boy out of North Carolina, man. Dude, dude is he special. But I tell him, I sent him, I sent him probably ten beats. All the hottest beats are all the hottest songs right now. You know the the, the uh the uh you know what you call it? What's what's the little knock your head yeah. out? What's his name? Right. Yeah. yeah, that little beat, the beatbox. I'm like, man, look, uh, young ma, her beatbox remix, man, got like 30 million views, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it just some people would like the mixtape game. As far as that, the mixtape game, in my opinion, yeah. is so important to artists because when you got when you got artists like you know you you look at, i think d i think tokar posted it on his instagram when you uh had gunner at the breakfast club you had little baby at the breakfast club all these boys talking about talking my, my mixtape mixtape. Com. yeah right all these boys talking about you know, so when you got these people actually telling you what this my mixtape and mixtape what they did what it did for them if you don't listen to that, then I don't know what you what you got going on. You ain't really trying to, you Thanks. know, expand Thanks. your career. You know, right? You know, so 
hey man, them boy vouch for it. So hey, that 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 just stamp it in itself, right there. That show you how important it is. Cool. Oh yeah, man. I got a mixtape dropping with DJ Tokars, man. July Fourth weekend, man. Artists tap in, please, man. That's gonna be a great mixtape. It's called Southern Classics. I did the cover. Might revamp the cover, but right now, it's ready to go, man. Classic Atlanta. I got something for you, man. I got something for you. I got something for you. I definitely bring my heart. Yeah. There we go. There we go. I look. They're gonna be a they're gonna be a classic mixtape there. For oh, sure. Oh, I'm about to tap in my damn self dig out there. It's all something classic. And man, if y'all be a part of it, man, that'll be even bigger, man, because y'all are family. So that that's right. even, you know what there I'm saying? All this talked up in that room, big dog. Yeah, right. yeah. Say no more. We we we, we in. We Say less, it. yeah. All right, you don't spoke it now. It gotta happen. So yeah, do it. It gotta happen, man. So um trying to get back to where we was at man i know we was talking about we done talked about streaming we done talked about mixtapes we done talked about the new thumb drives we done talked about uh the marketing oh let's talk about this man like your portfolio every artist must have a portfolio a lot of these artists don't think they just need to have like this i'm from georgia my style is hot and i'm i'm, I'm the best in the game what do you think all that you need to have or artists really need to have in their portfolio to kind of like have their whole package together as they start approaching people like a DJ or a, a, a label or something like that or manager or something like that? I, I could speak uh, on that off the rip. I could speak on that off the rip. rip cause go ahead. Go ahead. A, so just for example, I had a um, we had a, a, a consultant program I was doing with Matt Boney, a, a grand hustle, a hustle game. Right. Uh, uh, I just got a song with him coming soon. Matter of fact, it's gonna be on the Southern Classic Me Take. Shout yeah, out, yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out Ricky Dope. Yeah, man, that's family, man. That's you know the whole grand hustle, my family, man. So we had a um, we had a consultant firm, right? Well, we was going to uh, we, we you know artists pay a fee. They come in the hustle gang studios. You get to see tip office. You sit down with the A and R, who is Mark Jackson at Hustle Gang. You know he play your songs. We give you a VIP. He had a whole little package deal, right? The first thing the A and R would ask the ask the artist, what's your numbers on Instagram looking like? What's your numbers on YouTube looking like? What's your what's your numbers looking like? So with that being said. Your IG, your YouTube, your TikTok, every social media that you have is, is a part of your portfolio. Right. That's facts. That's a, that's a part of your portfolio. That's really, to be honest, that's really the most important, most important, most important part of your portfolio because you think about it. If you got videos, you got you got all this different content. You can pile it up into one thing, which is your IG. Right. You tell people, hey, go look at my IG and see what I'm about. See how many followers I got. See how many people, you know, interact with, you know, see how many people I, I got interacting with my my profiles and my posts and all this and my, you know. So I think social media is is really the main part of a portfolio. I mean, yeah, shoot your videos, get your content, you know, you in the studio, you with this celebrity, you that celebrity and pile it all up in your IG. And let your IG run up numbers, get you a blue check. You know, people so biased now, they don't even think you legit if you ain't got a blue check. You know what I'm saying? So right. <laughs> pile up your IG, pile up your Instagram, your Facebook, man, and send people to your Facebook. That's that's pretty much that's the most important part of your uh portfolio, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I've been I've been trying to get that blue check, man, but I, I gotta get more numbers. They say you gotta have a a certain amount of uh what is it, followers or or, or is it um, yeah, post? Interviews. Yeah, interviews. If you got you got five to ten interviews, I can get you a blue check. I'm talking about like with I got more than that. Yeah, it, with, <laughs> with, with, with certified <laughs> platforms though. Can't it can't be like you know just Joe Blow? Okay, Blow I got you. Right? I got you. I got you. you got know you. What I mean? Okay, like, it got to be like from a. Uh, uh, 
What's damn? I can't even think. Of, I'm I'm kind of I'm a little lit right now. Somebody else with a blue check. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. 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 What's, what's, the, what's the platform where they be sitting on the porch talking? What's that platform? Oh, I know porch. you're talking about. Off the yeah, porch. man. Off, off the, the porch. porch. I did my interview, but that thing. That, was that, uh, yeah, yeah. Dirty, yeah. dirty, 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 yeah, you got to say cheeses and stuff like that. You get them platforms and you get five to ten. It, I would say try to get at least about seven interviews. I can get you a blue check. I got yeah. you. Dirty, dirty glove bastard. Shout out to Dirty Glove. Yeah, Dirty Glove. Yeah. Dirty glove. yeah. Uh, All of them. Of course. Less. I'm going I'm to work on that. Of course, somebody like Vlad. You know, Vlad, you get on Vlad. Vlad, yeah. Vlad TV. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, somebody like that. You know, um, them, them, all them interviews. I mean, all them people like oh, Voyage ATL. They want, they one of them. You know, just you know, certain you know, viable. Man, I'm surprised. Viable I'm surprised. Some folks ain't West College. Uh, hit me up. Yeah, man, I didn't work with everybody. They didn't put in that that, that damn magazine. Who? That's crazy, man. Well, hopefully what? they tap out to me because I, I, I'm like, dang, I ain't hit that magazine yet. You talking about Voyage? I, yeah, I feel funny about that one. I got an interview on Voyage. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, I said it's good for you, but I, I'm talking about, like, <laughs> no, 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 no. So I'm right. talking about me though. Right. No, no, I'm going to tell you. Well, he made, I, but we look, this one I'm going to do in. Because what they do is after they interview, you refer, if whoever you refer, they're going to email you. Okay. They're going to email you to set it. So you, it's basically. The people that you put on, they got to refer you, and they, you know, they contact you and interview. Okay, that's how I got. That's how I got my interview. Somebody referred me. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, okay. dope, dope. So yeah, they, 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 up. they, they, they hating on me. Okay, I see what's up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, come on, not not southern rap tunes, man. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. got to get you that. We got to get that, man. We got yeah, to get that. I, I work real hard, dog. I I can't even front. I work real hard. I wake up every day on this, and I work. I, I I even work with other people, like my artists, just as hard as I work for myself. So I push them just as hard as I push myself, man. And I just love it, man. It's, it's a great team. Then they, I grew up with these people, so it's a little different. Um, right. So yeah, cause it, I'm doing what people say I can't do. Right, yeah, right. Friends and family, you know what I'm saying. And I'm, I'm defining, I'm defining. Big facts. Right. I was up, Big man. Facts. All right, man. If if the if the artists ain't soaked no game up right now, man, I, I don't know what it is, man. They should be successful by the end. What what what's Friday? Uh, follow up Fridays, man. Follow, man, they should they should be following <laughs> up on Friday with, with everything they got on on winning wins. What's today? Win, win yeah, winning win, wins. Wednesday, you know it. Man, yeah. they should be, they should be successful by Friday, man. With all this game, man, man for I'm real, for you, real. I'm, I'm telling you, bro, because like I said, one thing about it, I, I, I'm definitely not gonna talk about nothing I don't know about. You know right. what I'm saying? And I got inspired by this whole music game. I mean, of course, you know, I, I'm 40 now, so I come from that NWA. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, that that whole the beginning of hip hop era. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I've been fascinated since then, but really. What really got me in tune on how the game operated, how it worked, is when I seen Tip from his beginning mm -hmm. to where he at now and what it took and the things that he went through, I seen it all. Like I seen all what he went through. Right, it, right. It, it made me, I learned so much through the game and it was like, damn, do I really want to be a part of this? You know, do I really want to go through that? And, and the answer is yeah and no. Me as an artist, I cut that out a long time ago. Right. So what I can do is I can help inspiring artists, you know, people that are trying to get in the game and saying, man, look, I want to, you know, help me out. You know, help me out. Put me on. You know, people come to me all day. Man, I'll pay you to put me on here. I'll pay you to do this. And what I do is just I tell them, man, look, get you a budget and I'm going to show you where to put your money at. Right, Back, man. Back. And you can't lose, man. You can't lose, but can't I'm lose. telling you, hundred percent, one hundred percent. If you broke coming into this game, you ain't got no money behind you, man. Hang it up, bro. Like you yeah. can be the dopest right. artist in the world, bro. You could be the dopest artist in the world. Some artists, some artists will pull up and be like, man, 
uh you know catch a break from a big name and say man look man i you know i like you come on i'm gonna do this for you but man that's that's like once one in, in 10 million artists big five opportunities. you know people even with that people want to see the work you don't put in right you know man and uh you know your numbers don't lie shit the numbers don't lie man so yeah i i, I can speak man for like me coming up in the era of the other music man i came up in a time man where uh you know we were listening to master p man but i was in an era of um like my first album i was on that with nationwide was gangster pat homicide of lifestyle mm. and um okay. i never knew at that particular time that my song that i had on there was one of the biggest songs off of it. you know it was a song called creep with a nigga and i never knew at that particular time because we didn't have social media, you know what I'm saying? All I had was I ran into Gangsta Pat, me and him start chopping it up, and he was like, "Hey, bro, uh, your song was the biggest song on the album, man." And they were banging it out in the M time, you know. And um, from there, I had a lot of learning lessons that I had to deal with, with with contracts, and then I signed to another label, the contracts, and all this other stuff. So it's a lot of stuff that I had to put into it when I when I was leaving labels and getting back with labels and investing in myself you know um my last label that i was with was with t-rock um a rock solid uh rock solid yeah. music i was with okay. him yeah i was okay. with him for about six years and then um uh he showed me a lot of game got me a lot you know introduced me to a lot more artists and now here i am to this day man and, and the whole budget thing is very very important like y'all saying man investing in yourself now that i have my own thing going you know the promoting the marketing the the networking is very very important so um these artists need to know it don't just it, it can happen overnight but there is a journey with it that you have to take <laughs> to get to where you're trying to get to you know don't think that you're gonna get you know it, it's gonna just happen but for some people it does happen and and for some people it, it it doesn't happen but you have to put in your grind you have to put in your grind and my homegirl jessica uh uh diggy a2 in the building she been in here doing her thing what's going on classic um but she brought up publishing man do y'all want to touch on publishing oh yeah most definitely we can all right well give a little game on publishing so they'll know about publishing man anybody anybody uh, you most definitely want to get your publishing together. Uh, publishing gives you to the rights to your music. Like if people are playing your music on television, radio, anything of that nature, or uh, using it for anything, uh, right. you'll be able to get the rights or the royalties from that music, no problem. Now, if you don't have stuff completely in line with your publishing, sometimes your music can be out there and be getting spent or used somewhere and you you won't benefit from it because your publisher is not intact so most definitely want to get your publisher intact yeah right big fact. and, and that, get your, go ahead. i just uh, say just looking to ask out bmi you know what i'm saying there's, there's somewhere to get the, oh, yeah. get, you know, the get the publisher right yeah, <laughs> yeah. The and, and another thing man like artists that's doing these collabs make sure that y'all are are, are, are doing oh, that the, the split sheet is correct you know yeah, what I'm saying? Correct. Yeah, they yeah. Register artists. Right. Yeah. You know, you got to send them IPI numbers and 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 all that got to come into play. So you know, split the song. It's like split the song. You know. Right. Um. So, y'all, th these artists definitely should be following up on Friday. Mag Tight. We're gonna. Yes, I'm gonna have to check in with everybody. I might have to go live on here on Friday, man, to see where everybody at. Cause Man, if, if, really, they man. if they ain't they ain't gonna superstars by Saturday, man, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> million, million dollar worth of gems, man. Million I'm trying to gems. tell you. Hey, I'm telling you something. One one big thing about about that publishing too is you know all these artists out here looking for these big deals, you know, and these big companies to sign them. You ain't getting no publishing upon them. You know what I'm no, saying? Nah. Spoke on it. You and, just spoke uh, on it. Yep. So you know, it's 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 you know, I look at a lot of a lot of stories and a lot of people like uh I seen DJ Paul interview on Black TV. And man, that man ain't gotta work another day in his life. He ain't gotta put out another record in his life, man. He own a hundred percent of his publishing. And he get a call, he get a check every week. For from somebody sampling music. Somebody sampling, sampling his music. music. Yep, Juicy J same way. Same way, they ask Dillinger. Ask Dillinger. You can't even say, Oh, my ambitions as a rider. For real, right? Yeah, right. you got 
That ain't right. Damn. Hell I didn't even know that. No, nah, yeah. <laughs> I knew about Paul, but I ain't know about oh, yeah. I ain't know Slide about that. My knob. <laughs> Right. That you want to. They, they a big part That's of that. 25% of your song. Yeah. Right. They get a percentage of all that publishing, everything. You know, it was him and Juicy was the head of it. You know what I mean? But all, all you go, you, you just study and see. That's another thing. Like anything that you want to do. And I tell my son all the time, I used to see him at, at, at three and four and five years old. He said he wanted to be a basketball player. I would sit him in front of the TV and let him watch Kobe over and over and over again. Let them watch MJ over and over again. Because if you want to do something, study the great. Study the that's right. study people that's successful in this game. Surround yourself with greatness. Yeah, man. I'm, you gotta and you gotta, it's like one of it's like muscle memory. You know, your 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 arm ain't gonna get ripped if you don't keep doing them reps, you know. Facts. With your brain. You don't keep giving your brain feed your brain to feed your brain. Man, you're gonna be weak, man. You're gonna fall to the wayside. So you gotta study this shit, man. This shit ain't no it ain't no overnight type of thing where you just up and just be great one day. You know what I mean? Like you got to exercise. I love that song by Jay, that lyrical exercise. You know, mm -hmm. because he gave you the game on, on, on how to how to do mental push-ups and you know and 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 repetition. You know, it's important. So, right. yeah, that yeah, publishing is definitely something that you need to study, and you need to know in any contract you sign. That that publishing is something that you know you you know you got to look at. So yeah, that publishing definitely important, man. Heck yeah, man. Well, look, gents, y'all done gave them game tonight. They should be ready on Saturday. I'm gonna go through to y'all one by one, so y'all can just leave them with something before we end this show. I'm gonna start with you, Mac Tight man. Go ahead and you know what whatever you want to leave them with. Man, I just want to say uh, to everybody out there, man, just stay on your grind. I hope you took everything that we all said into, you know, uh, in, 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 into your uh, your moves as you stay chasing your dreams. But just stay on your, your grind and you can do it. You're great. What you got, Southern? Um, for those looking for support, man, try supporting people. And mm. don't worry about who's not supporting you. Take notice of who's supporting you. Big facts. Now what you got, Dale? Man, I hey, man, strive to be great, man. You know, do your due diligence, man. Do your research. Do everything you need to do to learn this game in and out. And stay humble, man. Just stay humble. You ain't no, you ain't no superstar yet. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Got to understand that. I mean, have it in the back of your mind that you are. But you know, when it comes to the realization of it, and you talking it. It's, executives and you talking to the people that's trying to put you on trying to give you gain just be humble man listen um, be right. li just man be slow to speak and swift to listen man mm. important you suck up game you got you get game you gotta you gotta listen you can't listen if you talking you know what i mean and you thinking you know everything so yeah just be humble I man, I support anybody grind i support anybody movement anything you got going on man i i, I I, I just, you know, I, I'm just one of those guys. I, but I, you know, anything, I, anything you got got going on, you reach out to me, man. Go bosses making bosses on IG. You know, uh, Facebook. My name Rondell Mitchell. I still got a, a boss making bosses page on Facebook. Reach out to me, man. Hey, any kind of game I play is is on. So just holler at me. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, go ahead and give them social them them social sites, man. I, I, they definitely need to tap in with y'all. Go ahead and uh, Mac Tight. Go ahead and give them that info, man, because I, I can't have y'all leave without that. Now we most, most gotta plug man. it in. <laughs> most deaf, man. Look, everything across the board is Mac Tight Radio, man. You can't go wrong. Just type in Mac Tight Radio, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Can't go wrong. Mac Tight Radio. All right. All right. I'm gonna drop my link tree, man. Yeah, everybody know link tree. S R T Media T V right there oh uh, y'all can catch my clothing y'all can catch my podcast y'all can catch my artists y'all can catch the record label y'all can catch the photography y'all can catch the graphics man y'all can catch everything i got going on man there you go y'all better network with these gentlemen right here and they they got game full of knowledge man and i'm i'm glad to be in a circle with these gentlemen right here you know i i could call them and and 
if I got a question, they they give me game. So I definitely want to thank y'all for coming on. And if y'all don't know, man, uh, this is the independent music movement. We are back. This is our first show. We had some issues at first. But, man, come on, man. I always bounce back, man. Hey, you know what I, I'm saying? I, 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 real quick, I, OG, I want to say I appreciate the platform, man. I like what oh. you're doing, man. I like what you got going on, man. Keep it going, big dog. I appreciate, I appreciate it, man. It. Most definitely, Tech. I love that right here, big dog. You done taught me something today. We all, we all learning from each other, big dog. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, hey. Don't know. think y'all ain't coming back. You know I'm breaking y'all back out there. Hey, 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 hey. Ken Nugent. Ken Nugent. One call, one yeah. call. That's all. You know. One call. Just light work, baby. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, man. I had to have y'all on. I just knew this topic, man, that because I've talked to all three of y'all, I'm like, man, look. I got to have these gentlemen on. And Southern be sitting right there on Clubhouse. Just, man. just he be sitting right there, man, in front of you promoting. Like it, it'll be a picture of a shirt and some shoes. It'd be an album cover five minutes later. Then <laughs> you know, that, so, man, yeah, that, man. Just learning, man. Uh, this that actor, man. I love to promote, man, because that's what bring me. Like everything, like they say, everything come from a thought. That's it. Everything. If you don't think, if you don't move on the thought, you, you got to move on it too. But everything come from a thought, and then you got to move on. There you go. And man, I just watch stuff happen for me, man. Like I, I call it doing my homework. I do my homework. So right. I watch everything come to me. There right. you go. It's the there simple. You go. Thing. It's the simple things that you got to make important. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm telling you, man. This this energy. This energy is real. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And then taking y'all perspectives and adding it to my life. Yeah. Right. Writing down, I want to be a millionaire. Writing down my dreams. I mean, mm -hmm. not my dreams, but my my goals for this week. Vice uh, versa. OG yeah. Jim, Ben, you solid, dog. I, I like you. You, you, you solid. I, I, I even like the no skinny jean thing. Hey, no skinny I jean Ben, bro. Hey, <laughs> 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 hey, we coming in here different, man. No skinny <laughs> jean <laughs> Ben, <laughs> man. You know. Well, you can't even think straight with them skinny jeans. Hey, I'm telling you. At the store, I be like, man. <laughs> Your blood. 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 Are you confused? Are you confused, right, right, right. bro? Can't even put their hands they, in they 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 their pocket. Be gangsters and stuff. Like, oh my god! But the sagging, right. though. The sagging with it, though. Oh yeah. Right. And I don't get it, bro. <laughs> I, I don't get it, right. man. I, I right. don't get it, man. Like yeah, I, I see it all the time, man. and I'm like, hold the hug, your cab. Right. Hey, you said that no, no, you ain't supposed to hug your cow. Right. Uh, <laughs> I, you know. Tried it one time, right? I tried. Like that, you gonna that's a female league. Right. <laughs> so you know, I'm a fashion designer. This is what I do. So I kind of like True. I go slow a thing. True. Right. You know what I'm so I, I, I designed this outfit. I had this outfit, man. And keep in mind, I'm I'm six four, and I'm like two sixty, two set two. <laughs> <laughs> I tried the skinny jeans on. I'm like, damn, okay, hold on. Let me see. Hey, this might look right, man. Okay. Hell, take this right. Shit. Uh, oh, man. man. This shit been wild. It's a no no, man. Nah, man, can't do it. No skinny jean business, man. That's been our motto since we um I got invited to 24-7 Hip Hop Radio and he he had that and I just fell out laughing when he said it. <clears throat> and uh we it, it we just been carrying it on, you know. Uh, we got a drop that come on. We got this drop that come on that said 24-7 hip hop radio, no skinny jean business, you know, and, and I play that all the time, man. So um tomorrow. If y'all could, y'all tap in it. If y'all got artists, I got your uh email, Southern. But if y'all got artists that want y'all music played, that want their music played, please send it to me. On Thursdays, I'll be doing my show. Uh, it'll be live from Spreaker where I play number hits two hours straight, nonstop. Um, and you know, I, I usually try to bring one person or two person just to come and get some shout outs. But if you sign up with Spreaker, it's also a chat box in there where you can come and you can interact with the artist. So if your artists do come on and they sign up, they'll be um networking with the fans and all that other good stuff also. So yeah, when you check that music out, man, let me know your feedback. Mean a lot to me, big dog. Okay, for sure, for sure, man. If y'all ain't done it already, too, make sure y'all check out the Lonely Road video. We are definitely going to be back live tomorrow. And if you're on Clubhouse, DJ Tokar's Morning Motivation from 10 to 12, make sure y'all come in. Um, these gentlemen is in there. 
uh, from 10 to 12. We in there every morning through Monday through Friday, nonstop, giving game, getting game, and sharing everything that we can and supporting who come in, what they craft, their hobby, their business, their brand, or whatever it is. You know, um, it's always good to surround yourself with like-minded people and keep the negative away, man. As Tokars will say, let's keep the motivation high. And ah! I appreciate y'all. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, appreciate it, man. All right, I'll Jess, I appreciate you coming too, too. Uh, Diggy A2 in the building. That's my sis right there, man. She in there. She is a, uh, she she does a lot of supporting. She got her own brand. She does the same thing. She promote artists and everything, man. And she got artists also, man. So Diggy right, A2, I definitely. Tap in, yeah. tap in. She's yeah. been in the room in a uh, clubhouse. So I'm, I'm hoping she come in tomorrow, man, so I can reintroduce her also, man. So okay, make sure you bet. tap in, Jess, for real. All right, Bet. All right, Southern. All right, Dale. OG. Appreciate it. All right. It. I appreciate it. Love. I'll let y'all. All right.